What's up guys? I'm the washer and dryer guy. I've been repairing and refurbing washers and dryers since 2011. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer you. Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about the number one thing you need, in my opinion, to work quickly to get through fixing washers and dryers over and over and over again. Uh, and if you like these videos, please hit like, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. I uh, really want to try to go through as much as I possibly can on how the washer and dryer refurb business works. It's a really great business that makes a decent amount of money. Um, anyone can learn how to do this. I'm fixing the same five problems all the time with the exact same machines. This is not a hard business to know. But main thing you need to do is have a nice, clear spot to work on. Whenever my shop gets filled up and is dirty and is uh, stuff in the way for me to move around, it becomes a nightmare to work in here. So my number one thing that I would do is clear out an area. If you're in a small area, put stuff outside. Bring it outside of your shop and just bring in one thing at a time. It just makes things so much faster to work. Um, as far as tools go, you don't really need a whole lot. When I started off, I was just using that air compressor, which I just swapped out to a much bigger air compressor. And I was using common tools, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, mainly a 5 16 and a quarter inch driver, and then a handful of sockets. I mean, it's really just super common. I can lay everything out, but like common tools, nothing you really need to worry about. Most people already own these things. So it's really easy to start this business. Don't need a ton of money. Um, Biggest thing that sped up my business a lot was making two dryer plugs on uh, obviously that I could use at the same time. So that sped things up a lot just because I can now fix a dryer, test a dryer, figure out what's wrong with a dryer while one is being tested. So I would give that one as a number two big recommendation of uh, things that sped things up a whole lot, but by far number one thing you need is nice clear space to work and I think that's probably true for a whole lot of businesses especially for fixing things I would imagine most mechanics would say the exact same thing all right guys if you like this video please like and subscribe I'm gonna go uh, make a little series here and uh, just explain exactly how to start this business I hope to, uh, I can get someone else started this is a business that helped me buy rental property helped me buy my house helped me buy pretty much most things in my life uh, the money came from used washer and dryers so uh, please put any comments down below. I'll make another video. If you guys uh, like a video, like a comment down there, just like it up to the top and I'll make a video on it. We'll talk to y'all next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them.